I've used them all water all my life, man. I mean, who doesn't use water? You know, it licks their life. It makes me feel good. Uh, you know, I get a little thirsty. Have some water. Smell great. Feel great. You know, also it gives me a nice clean feeling. Like, I hate when my hands are dirty, so like, water is just the ultimate cleaner. But, that yeah, was good stuff. All right, so uh, how do you feel right now? You know, I'm a little, a little thirsty, but uh, yeah, yeah, I, can, I, can, I can fix that. Yeah, you got a gallon of water right next to you. Yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of worried about my hands a little bit though. Oh, that one. You that just... one kind of smelled. This is Carl Brody. He's your average college student, except for one thing: he's got an addiction. He's lost control of his use of natural resources, specifically water and gasoline. Carl uses 32 gallons of water every day just by washing his hands. He drinks an astonishing five gallons of water each day. Think about it. Five gallons. A normal active person is recommended to drink 75% of their body weight in ounces of water per day. Carl weighs in at 160 pounds and should therefore drink 120 ounces of water each day. There are 128 ounces in a gallon. Carl drinks almost five times that. Carl also waters his 500 square foot lawn every day. That accounts for another 330 gallons of water used to keep his lawn looking nice and fresh. Carl loves his showers. One of Carl's showers lasts about 45 minutes on average. Now the typical shower head flows at about 4 gallons per minute, so I took the liberty of doing the math myself and found that one of Carl's showers robs our water system of 180 gallons each time. Carl has little control over his addiction. He's told me about times when he'll be with friends or just by himself and out of nowhere he has the urge to drop everything, run to the nearest sink, and wash his hands over and over, using as much soap and water as he possibly can, smelling them each time. He compulsively washes his hands until they smell, in his words, acceptable. Another dark place Carl has described to me is similar to the last. He'll be doing nothing in particular when all of a sudden he feels the need to stop what he's doing, grab his keys, and run as fast as he can to his car. He explained that he doesn't necessarily go anywhere. Most of the time, he just gets in, turns the key, and feels the intoxication of his V8 engine wash over him. The worst part about Carl's situation is that he's lost control of his natural resources. Wash my hands, man. He can't go very long without washing his hands, get rid of that. seeing the faucet run, or feeling the rumble of a V8 engine. He doesn't know this, but his friends and family have gotten together and have staged an intervention to convince Carl to change his ways. Yeah, so, you know, that intervention with my friends and family really, really opened my eyes up, really let me know that I had a problem. Uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of exercise now, riding my bike, not really going and using the car at all. Uh, you know, my hands, they kind of smell right now, but that's okay. It doesn't, doesn't bother me. Uh, no real concerns with it. Um, you know, I've been trying to use a lot less water now. I just use it for my basic needs. Um, you know, it's not, you know, a lot of big changes in my life. It's uh, going slowly but surely. It's getting better, better day by day. I'm making a lot more friends now. I'm not worried about the whole social situation where hands get a little smelly. I have to run out and wash my hands or, you know, just have water by my side. I can just hang out and relax and be myself. Um, you know, showers too, I guess, was a major problem with me. But now, you know, I think, I think a normal shower, not too long. Just enough to suds up and wash off and then I'm out of there. I miss the water, man. I miss it. 